Look at this chick. What's going on? Are you okay, dude? It's breathing, but it's very hopefully sleepy. So they only have leg horns, which is fine because I want leg horns. The only thing that's a bummer is that they're straight runs, but whatever. So they literally have nothing else, so we're getting leg horns. Will I spill any? Oh my god, I did it the wrong way! Come on now. <laughs> I have the pressure! Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's vlog, you guys. So, we are, in fact, going to the feed store right now, and we are going to be buying chicks because it is chick days back at Tractor Supply, and I haven't actually, like, purchased chicks in such a long time. Kind of put, like, the whole chicken, chick thing like on the back burner and just have been really happy just having a small flock we honestly only have about 13 chickens where in the past we've had upward of 40 when we moved from our first property to our second property we just had like a pretty bad predator problem here at this property so the only chickens that really last are the ones that can like outsmart the predators but I really wanted to get more chicks and whenever it's chick days I get really excited because we do go to track display a lot and I'm always like tempted and I really like to get the chicks from there so I heard that it was chick days so this is my first time being there Mike said the other day that the chicks were there so we're gonna go and try to get some chicks from the feed store today so if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel below make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course if you chance my post notification shout out are you guys let's go get some chicks all right girls we are hopefully going to get some good chicks some hearty chicks that will last with you guys scout is learning her way around the chickens scout is going on a chick adventure with us she's going to track to supply for the first time ever come on come on scout scout got her second set of shots and the vet approved that she could go out. Very limited though. Come on, Scout. Let's go. Let's go to the car. Get in, lizards. We're going shopping. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Okay, I lost my dog. Scout is sitting up front with me right this minute, but we're stopping at our gate because we actually got some Amazon packages because Scouty is quickly turning into a car dog and needs more car accessories to be safer in the car. Scout ready to go buy some chicks. So we need to set her up. So I got her a seatbelt because she really needs one so that she doesn't jump all around. So this one has really good reviews. So we're gonna use this one. And then the second one, and this will make her car riding experience ultimate so that we can go get some chicks and bring Scouty along. And then whenever we go to Charger Supply, Scouty can come with us in style. Here we go. So this one's kind of cool and I think she'll like it because she likes to be cuddled. Okay, cool. so it's a box. So she sits on the box. All right, Scouty, it's time to sit in style. Ready, Scout? We got a little spot for you. This thing just gets stuff in the seat. Yep. All right, let's take Scouty out and get her a little seat set up for a cute little dog. You have something on your nose, Scout. We're gonna go get you some chicks. All right, Scouty, you got yourself a box. Good girl. Now the last thing that we have to do, Scouty, is we have to put your little seatbelt on. Oh, you're such a good girl. I feel like she'd be okay with just this, but for the safety, if God forbid we had an accident or anything like that, I want her to have her seatbelt on so she doesn't go flying. She's a good girl though. Oh, we're about to yawn. For the seatbelt part, it literally just like clicks into your seatbelt buckle. Oh, look at her, she loves it already. Oh, and then you need to use this with a harness and not a collar. So we have her little harness on her. Here we go. And I think Scout loves it. She's already laying down. She's ready to go get some chicks. <laughs> Good job, Scouty. Off to the store we go. So she's now sitting in the box rather than laying down. She's just whimpering just a little bit, but she's probably just not used to it because she's always been on my lap. And she's only been in the car like literally three times tops. So she's getting used to it, but I think this is a great safe way for her to be in the car. Right, Scout? Good girl. So we've arrived at the glorious tractor supply. So as you can see, they got their coops out because it's chick season. We got Scouty on our leash. She did good in the car. Wasn't very happy at first, but then she took a nap. So Scouty's on the move. Come on, Scout, let's go get some chicks. Moment of truth, let's see what they got. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't think they have any. They're all out. Really? Oh no. No, they have leghorns. Okay, I do like leghorns. We did that one. Look at this chick. 
What is going on? Are you okay, dude? It's breathing, but it's very, hopefully sleepy. So they only have leg horns, which is fine because I want leg horns. The only thing that's a bummer is that they're straight runs, but whatever. So they literally have nothing else. So we're getting leg horns. All right, so we got our chicks. Here they are. We got four leg horns. So all white egg layers. <laughs> very boring. Scotty, Scotty, what do you think? Scotty. Scotty, look. She's so preoccupied by all these dog bones and everything dog related, dog bed. Oh my gosh, guys, let me know in the comments down below if we need to do a buying everything that my puppy touches, but we'll be in big trouble because she's literally gonna touch everything. Right? Right, Scotty? I show her one more check. She's so preoccupied by other things. All right, let's see. Scotty, look. Be nice. She's like trying to lick the chick. Look. Oh, oh okay. Be nice. nice. All right, sorry, Chicky. Look at her, she's like, what is that? All right, let's go get some chick food and some supplies that we need now. She's like all about it. She's like, what are these? Okay, so we always get this orange bag. It's just the Nature's Best Organic. We only have four chicks, so I think we'll only need the small bag. Usually when I get like a buttload of chicks, I will get the big bag or if we hatch out chicks. <gasps> Scotty's peeing. Oh no, guys. That was bad. That was so insanely weird. Scotty just peed on the floor. Oh no, Mike ran to go grab paper towels. I don't know, but I guess that worked out because I went right through the car. <laughs> that was unexpected. That was so unexpected. You're a brave peer. You just pee everywhere. That was weird. Anyways, we got our chicks. And we got our chick feed. Mike is cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about her peeing right through that crate? Well, <laughs> Scout, why'd you do that? See, because I'm a puppy, I don't know what else to do. We just pee and we eat and we sleep. Right? You guys, I don't know if this video has become more about Scout or about getting chips. I don't know. It's hard to compete. <laughs> right? Oh, big yawn from Scout. This is Scout's first time at Charger Spot. So as you guys know, we like have so many of these, but whenever I come here, I always like to just get new ones, especially if we're getting new chicks. And I think these are really pretty. I really like this color. So we're gonna get these, and we're just hoping that all the chicks are girls because they're actually straight runs. So they're not technically like identified if they are girls or boys. So we're gonna go with pink to hope that they will be. So Scotty, hold these for me. And then we need to get two of these. And they are so expensive. They are literally $3.99. So I would get $3.99 for the feeder base, $3.99 for the drinker base, and then two of these that are $3.99 for the jars. Okay, and then I'm gonna get this vitamins and electrolytes. I always like to put this in their water or like the Save a Chick probiotic ones. Um, I like to do this right when we get them from the feed store just because I feel like their immune systems are really weak and they're being shipped in and stuff. So we got this. Gaddy, I'm not gonna let you hold this one because you might need it and you're not a chicken. All right, well. With that being said, we have our chicks, we have our feed for our chicks, and we have new feeder and water, vitamins. We don't need a heat lamp or a heat plate because we have the heat plate at home, and we are ready to get these chicks back to the farm. Right, Scout? I got my chickens. Well, I should say my chicks, finally. It's been so long since we have chicks. How do you feel that we have chicks again? Mike literally dreads when we have chicks. So we're in the barn. We just got the cage that we're gonna use. Typically we use like dog cages, but we forgot that we had this actual like cage that's meant for chicks. And then we've got our dirty heating plate. Guys, this tells you, look at all the dust and dirt on this. This is how long it's been since we've used this thing. But we've taken it out of retirement because we got some chicks, guys. I swear I wouldn't get chicks again for a really long time. And here I am. But I really need another um, leghorn. So now I have four and hopefully they live. We are gonna set up the little cage for the chicks in the barn here but we're actually not keeping the chicks in the barn this time around i know that's kind of crazy but we are putting them in the chicken coop if you guys remember at our last house with the chicken coop there that we built 
the brooder box which is where the chicks lived was in the coop and it was a really good setup because it got them accustomed to the birds a lot quicker I felt like it built their immune system a lot quicker as well I will say that is one thing that I miss about the old property is our chicken coop the chicken run and all that I love our chicken coop now it's just um I don't know I made the other one a lot cuter this one is a lot more like functional in ways just because it's bigger it's more simple but I do miss having the brooder box um, like how we have set up in our old one but there is room for this crate to go in there and we do have power over there so it'll be able to run the good old heating plate and we don't need to worry about a heating lamp or any fire starting like that or anything like that so that's good maybe one day I will make a more like I don't know better cooler brooder box over in that coop but I've been trying not to just because without that like I'm not really inclined to get chicks just because it's kind of a hassle so and the last time we did chicks we had um, June stall covered in chicks and uh, you guys know we got the horse so we don't have a stall that we can do chicks with anymore and I'm definitely not giving up a horse stall for chicks like I did for the pigs the pigs were a different story but not chicks I'm not doing that so we're gonna go ahead and set it up in the barn and get these chicks moved over as you guys can see it's getting pretty dark pretty quickly um, we do love the time change though because now it's not getting as dark as quickly but we're still fighting the time here and Mike is about to arrive in five four three two one there he is he's got our stuff to set up the cage it's stuff that we just bought at tractor supply and then we will bring it over to the coop we just put this piece of cardboard down because we're gonna put shavings at the bottom of it but there's like little holes and since we're transporting it's not set in place right now we were just borrowing some nice clean shavings from Lazy's stall so they're nice and pretty ignore my barn we haven't cleaned it yet tonight there we go just like that that is a lot of shavings actually all right let's get in there and move them around make it nice and good they are gonna like this it's probably a little too much but that's all right we've moved our workspace up on the side by side because it's how we're gonna transport anyway so figured we might as well do that now i always leave my brooder plates at um, a angle like this so that they can walk in it still but then for the shorter ones they can go down in here taller ones over there so that's how this is working back there there we go that looks good well, now last but not least we need to get their feeder and water set up all right chick feed it is oh my gosh And then, so it's extra full. There we go. All right, let's see. Will I spill any? Oh my God, I did it the wrong way. Come on now. <laughs> I have the pressure, the pressure, the pressure. There was too much pressure, you guys. Oh, I just wasted that. Okay, well, we're gonna try that again, you guys. I don't know why the pressure of not spilling any decided that I was gonna spill it all. F is the donkey of the day. Oh goodness. Okay, let's try it again. I barely put too much in it, but Ugh, that Wait. was an amateur mistake. I've done this a hundred times in my life. And I can't believe I just did that. But here it goes. <laughs> Alright, so I'll put the food over here. It's time for the chicks to meet their new house. Hi little leghorns. Say hi. Watch this. Hi. <laughs> Okay, there you go. There's your new home. Nice and cozy. They're like, wait. They're so cute. Actually, you know what? We need to make sure. No poopy butts. Okay, that's a clean butt. Let me grab you again. That's a clean one. Oh, that's a dirty one. Okay, you have to wait. And that's a clean one. Okay, we have a case of poopy butt. So she is all good now, and she's ready to go. Into there. I'm gonna call them all she's because I want them to all be hens. Maybe we can have one be a rooster. Look at you. Go in there. There's food in there. That's shavings. All right. Time to take your first step beside ride. Hold on tight. Trigger, what do you think about these chicks? He's so curious about what's making all this noise. They're little chickies. You want some chicks of your own? These are scouts' chicks. Made it over to the coop. We are. Watch out, JoJo. It is pretty dark out, you guys. 
and we are gonna fill up the chicken feeder. We just recently got them a brand new one because they broke their old one. Okay. Moose, get out! You're not allowed in the chicken coop. This is a chicken coop, not a cow coop. The chicks have arrived safely to their destination. Here with all the other birds. Eating dinner. Yay, a perfect spot for them. And then we have our extension cord here. So we just need the little red light to go on on the brooder. And just like that, the little red light is on, so the heater is getting hot. And then we just have to show the chicks that that's what the purpose of the heater is so that they know. Last thing that we really have to do for them is just fill up their water. We're just gonna put the vitamins in their water. Now, as you can see, this packet makes one gallon, so obviously I'm not gonna use the whole packet. I'm just gonna put a bit in there. I mean, it's not gonna hurt them. It's just vitamins and electrolytes. All right, chickies. Time to give you some water and show you that it is hot. Okay, let's see where I want to put this. Maybe over here. There we go. So the heater's getting warm, but not as hot as it can. But I'm just going to still start to show them that it is safe to go underneath there. There we go. They'll get the picture. It's hot underneath there. Well, lukewarm. <laughs> there you go. Well, there we have it. They are completely set up in their little area and then when they get bigger in a couple weeks we'll have to move them into a bigger area all right you guys well that is it for today's video we have successfully bought chicks from the feed store once again i didn't even think we we're gonna have any luck with this to be honest because i know that the chicks always like sell out there and typically you have to get them within like a couple hours of them being shipped in and i've been pretty serious about it before where i have called figured out their dates that they were getting shipped in and stuff like that but not this year because i've just been putting chicks on hold but mike told me about the chicks the other day and i was like oh i need some chicks and i think it was meant to be because they didn't really have many so i only came home with the minimum which was four and their cute little leghorns which are the all white chickens and they give us the all white eggs and none of our birds give us all white eggs so i'm excited let's see fingers crossed that these chicks make it out to be full adult hens or roosters see what they end up being but if you guys like today's video if you guys are excited that we got some chicks from the feed store make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel below make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course have a chance to my post notification shout out today's shout out goes to also you guys everything that i use from amazon will always be listed in the description down below are right, you guys i love you and i'll see you in the next one